This is a solid start to learning calculus if you want to be like an engineer or um, a math major, um, doing computer science, any type of field where you need some hardcore calculus, this is a great book to have. Uh, this is the book I used. However, the, the, the version I used was a little bit different. I used the early Transcendentals version. This is Calculus by James Stewart. He passed away. Um, he, he was super famous because of this book. Um, you can Google him. He has, he's on Wikipedia, right? I always think you're on Wikipedia. I mean, anyone can make a Wikipedia, right? But like, I always think he's really famous, right? James Stewart, Calculus, fifth edition. Um, great book. It's thick. It's heavy. It's super inexpensive. Usually I'll leave some links in the description to different editions of this book. Any edition is worth having. Um, I have multiple copies of this book. I think I have like three different versions or four, maybe five, because sometimes the book gets broken down into like two volumes. McMaster University. Um, this is not a perfect book. Let me just say that. I have been stuck on this book because I remember I, I, remember I used the early Transcendentals and Gentles version when I was taking Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3. So I, I worked um, through this book. I read this book and I struggled. I struggled. It's, it's uh, um, I mean, yes, it's an easy book. It's, it's, you know, compared to other math books. But, you know, at the time when I was a student, um, I, I understood a lot of it, but I do remember also struggling and reading things. Looking back, I'm like, oh, wow, duh, it's obvious. But uh, at the time, I did, I did sometimes get hung up. So it's not perfect. And no book is. Functions and models, uh, limits and rates of change, derivatives, applications of differentiation. This is, this is a great book for learning calculus. Integrals. What's this say here? Applications of integration, inverse functions, techniques of integration, further applications of integration. So you can use this book. Uh, I'll just show you the topics in the US. And in the US, this book is used for Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3. This book is used in other countries as well. Um, actually, James Stewart was a Canadian. So this is actually a Canadian math book in some sense. I mean, it's used in Canada, I'm pretty sure. So that's pretty cool, right? So yeah, yeah. I, I knew a guy from Canada who was really good at math. I, I won't say his name because, um, yeah, I'm just not gonna say his name, but the guy was awesome at math and he helped me a lot. So a preview of calculus. He wrote a, he helped write a programming language that's actually um, more popular today than it was when he wrote it, which is pretty cool. And he was one of those people that thought mathematics was beautiful. And I think that's what made him cool. The Tangent Problem. Yeah, so this is a great book. This is a wonderful book. And you can learn calculus with it. It's got answers to the odd numbered problems in the back of the book. Um, no matter what edition you buy, one thing I like about this book I'm just gonna, just, is the quality of the book. Like the actual physical aspect of any edition of this book look how look how thick this is it's heavy like it's it's i actually feel the weight uh, of this book this is not uh, a lightweight book it is a very heavy book um and is a, it is a wonderful book right it's a wonderful book uh, i've i've done a ton of problems from this book uh, i'm sure i have videos of problems from this book probably a few um because uh it's it's a great book right it's a great book i've, I've worked out exercises from this book um, I don't have that many videos actually from this book. Um, I, at one point, I think I was making like some, a couple of videos, but so I probably should make uh, some more videos maybe of some exercises. Um, it's, it's definitely a good book for problems. Um, and having answers to the odd number of problems is good. There are student solution manuals you can buy and those have the problems worked out, but uh, you know, you could probably just use AI, I guess. I don't know, AI can be wrong sometimes. I, I've used AI for math a lot and it can be it can be frustrating, <clears throat> especially when it's wrong. Cause it's like confidently wrong, but yeah, this is uh, certainly a good book um, for calculus, and it's the one I use for Calc one, Calc two, and Calc three.